This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP Notebook 15-BS, and I'm going to show you how to replace the screen on an HP Notebook 15-BS series. Okay, first couple of things. Uh, first thing we want to do is remove the battery. This particular model has a removable battery and you slide the two levers outward and so unlock it and should be able to remove the battery so slide this one inward and that the battery comes out next thing we want to do is look at the model number at the bottom there is uh, some faint labeling and right to the right of the QR code it will say 15-BS059OD. So this procedure will work for anything that starts with 15-BS. The numbers after the BS may be different, but the procedure is the same. Okay, second thing to talk about, this particular model has an integrated touch screen. The touch function is integrated into the LCD itself, so you don't have to remove the separate glass in front of it. And this has a touch and a non-touch version. The procedure is the same, but the screen is going to be different, and the two screens are not interchangeable. When we remove the screen, I'll show you the difference. Uh, the way we can tell it's touched, of course, is if it has touch functionality and and also, on the bottom left, there's HD Touch Display. Okay, next we're going to talk about the tools we're going to use. We have a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips, and 1 is the screwdriver size. We have a smaller PH0 electronics screwdriver. A hobby knife or exact knife with a pointed end to still lift up the adhesive tape. A pair of metal tweezers to remove screws, uh, manipulate cables, and to pry things open. And also a metal spudger that's used to pry things open. Uh, for this particular model, there's no screws on the front to remove the screen bezel. So what we want to do is remove the plastic frame around the screen, also known as the screen bezel. To do that, we put our fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and lift up and out and listen for snapping sounds as we go around the screen like so. On the bottom it's a little bit trickier so we want to pull back the bezel and there will be some adhesive and it will adhere to the tape on the screen and once we get to this point this is the trickiest part but you kind of have to wiggle it a little bit back and forth and manipulate it to remove it from the hinge covers and then the second part is not as hard. So just take your time on the bottom part and it'll come off. Alright, next there's another tricky part to this particular model is to remove the screen, screen from the screen assembly. We have to move this these metal brackets on the side and let's show you how to do it on each side of the screen there's two screws that need to be removed so there's one and two and once we remove the two screws you can see you can move the metal bracket out of the way and we do the same thing for the second side one and two and then we can move the metal bracket out of the way okay on the bottom there's another set of screws that you have to remove there's one on this side the one to the right of the this screw so we remove that one and one over here and that I mean this is and then this time we remove the rightmost screw so the order is different for each side. All right, next we move the metal brackets out of the way to get to the screen itself. And then using your fingernail, uh, grab the screen like so. 
and gently lay it down on top of the screen assembly. Okay. Next is we have to remove the connector from the screen. To do that, we use our hobby knife, knife to lift up the adhesive tape, like so. And lift up the adhesive tape with our fingertips. Once we lift up the adhesive tape, what we want to do is grab from the back of the connector and slide this connector out, like so. Now the screen is freed. Let's take a look at the screen. This is a 15.6 inch touch screen. So this, like I said before, this has a, the touch layer functionality built into the screen itself. The part number for this particular screen is N156BGN dash E41. All right, uh, you, when you do get your new screen in, you might have a different part number, but what you want to confirm is it is a touch screen assembly and this particular one has a glossy finish. Most touch screens do have a glossy finish. Okay, like I said before, uh, there's the touch and non-touch version of this laptop and the procedure is exactly the same, but the screens are different. The difference is going to be on the size of the connector. This is a larger 40 pin connector for a touch screen. If you're repairing a non touch screen, it's going to be a smaller 30 pin connector, and this part number is going to be different. So, when you're ordering, make sure it says if it's touch or non touch screen. You can order both versions from us from Screen Surgeons, and what you get with us is this exact toolkit comes for free with the screen. We also have a compatibility guarantee, so if you order the touch screens, we guarantee you they will be compatible as well as the non-touch also. To order from Screen Surgeons, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out on the front page and they will guide you to the right screen online. We also have online support standing by. When you do get your screen in, make sure it looks exactly like the old one. The part number may be different, but the connector needs to be the right size and needs to be touch or non-touch. Then uh, mount the screen in the screen assembly, making sure that it's mounted behind, or first reconnect the screen down here, and then mount the screen in the screen assembly, making sure the, connect, the metal tabs are behind the metal brackets like so, and same on the bottom. Put the four screws in at the top and two screws at the top, bottom and then snap the screen bezel back on. Okay, and that's it. And hopefully that'll get the job done for you. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. The name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.